Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to hang out in between videos, come check out the Discord. We're also doing exclusive content over on Patreon. We're in the middle of Produce 101. We're doing Mamamoo TV Season 7. It's actually wrapping up right now, uh, as well as Mumu Trip, Hotel de Luna, and on the free tier, Level Up uh, Project Season 2. Today, though, we are continuing our deep dive into IU with the uh, mini album Modern Times Epilogue. Uh, there's only two new tracks on this, um, and we have lots of clips of Friday, and sadly, only live uh, lyrics for Cran. So, let's get into it. All right. Ooh, wow, 2013 in December. Okay. This is Friday featuring Jang Yijong. Okay. Of history. Ooh. Okay. I love when uh, guitarists use the kind of slap on the guitar strings as percussion. Okay, they're both in it. Okay. Okay, so it's like him being in the shot, like her thought of him, and it's more like she's fantasizing about that time on Friday when she gets to see him. Or it's a different person, okay. Control Monday, Tuesday, and say. Okay, so he's in love with her, she's not in love with him. Okay. Oh, okay, the live session band in there. Yeah, okay, so the fact that there was multiple kisses in the music video feels like that would never happen today. Um, I think it's just another example of one of those things that used to happen in K-pop and just can't anymore um, because toxic fans. Um, but I think 
this that was a very sweet video on both sides of things. It's a little sad that the uh, other guy was kind of completely just ignored and uh, the romance happened elsewhere. Because um, it, it just kind of felt like he was there and at first uh, she was like interested in him a little bit and then just he got pushed to the side as soon as Friday came along. Um, interesting concept for a video. The sound of it itself is just like coffee house jazz and i absolutely adore that right it's just got this calm uh warm sound to it that i really enjoy i would have liked maybe a little more brass hits in there in the chorus i think that would have been kind of cool but other than that like i think this was just wonderful um okay Next up, we have Friday on NBC Picnic Live with Kim Yana. I wonder if it's kind of like an outdoor jam session or in like a cafe kind of setting because it just feels like that fits. The shift into her head voice there is really fun. fits into the lyrics, but I'm jamming with it. Yeah, that kind of gave exactly the vibe that I was feeling. Uh, it was a little more like dressed up in a 
more modern feeling setting than I was uh, expecting from something called Picnic Live. Um, I was expecting something maybe a little more rustic feeling, um, especially with the way that the song is presented. But I think the stage with like the little orb lights and uh, the like modern jazz session band kind of feel to it is a nice uh, aesthetic for it as well. Um, it doesn't kind of like fit with my first image of the song, but it like as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this makes sense too. Um, to me, this song feels kind of like the like the weather is getting colder, people are inside, we're at a coffee house, you're having a first date, or you're having like thoughts about uh, that person after a, a, an early part of the relationship and things are getting rolling and it's just that kind of warm, cozy, giddy feeling of a relationship and it's very nice. Um, all right, next up we've got at Small Theater Live Concert. Okay. Are you family? Oh, I just realized last time we didn't have uh, the guy from History's vocals in there. Oh, they're having the audience do his part. Cute. she has with Uena in her concerts and get like that full kind of sing-along vibe. face to pitch down her voice to hit the uh, lower register notes there even though she's just miming along so cute Anyway, um, 
Yeah, that performance was adorable. I love the interactions with the fans. I love that they did the um, the duet part with her. I think that's fantastic. Um, and then even kind of hit on some of the parts that the backup singers would normally do, like the mind control piece. Um, I think when you can make the song feel interactive for the people in an audience at a concert, you've done something like you've you've hit a level of engagement with the song that i think is really special um so i think this was great this was fantastic all right next up we've got uh friday at her love poem concert which we know this concert is fantastic even though uh there was some sadness surrounding it So I think one of the coolest things about this song and Ai's voice in general is she has a really awesome technique that mixes breath with her like chest voice really well. Like, so it's got this kind of ethereal feeling and then it switches seamlessly into like big clear belty notes. Oh, they pick a new Anna to put up on screen? Cute. They even got them in on the freestyle in a little bit. Hmm. Man. 
even that concert, like the scale of it is always really nice. Uh, and that probably went into some mints. That's uh, that's cool stuff, man. All right. Again, uh, we've got a, another version of this song, uh, this time from the Golden Hour concert. You know, uh, that huge one at the Olympic Stadium. So pumped for that. Let's ch make sure we're on the highest quality. We are good. Yeah. The fact that she can like make this song fit a giant stadium and still have this level of interaction with the fans. Oh my goodness. This song is like very calming to me. Like I have a playlist that's just like chill vibes, chill vibes, K-pop songs. This is definitely going on there. Nuhaina's getting better at this every time we, uh, we see one of these. Adorable. Oof. Okay. And that was Friday. And like, what a fun, cute, adorable, calming uh, song that is. It was just like a really nice uh, way to like. He it's healing. That's a, it's it's a healing vibe song, even though it's kind of just a, a love song about an early phase of a romance. It comes with a whole bunch of good feelings to it that are is, is just um, very nice. Anyway, 
Next up, we have the other new song on the album. Unfortunately, it is just the lyrics. We don't have any special clips or live clips that go with it. Uh, it is Cran. I'm already mad we don't have any live clips from this. I love the big band feel. in the fade out too okay oh and the fade out to the record static oh that's a nice touch all right that might be one of my favorite b-sides that uh she's put out it's up there with don't like her um and secret some of the other songs that i've really enjoyed so far it's just got this such of a fun bounce to it it's got the brass and the big band feel and this kind of retro old school vibe um but it, it's so fun and bright and playful um it just like it i can't help but want to move to it i can imagine like old school swing dance kind of choreo to it um i feel like it fits in something like an old style musical movie or play uh and it would just be this kind of grand uh choreo number that is like very kind of upbeat and fun um yeah i'm sad we don't have a live clip for it or a music video because I think it would be really quite something. Um, I love this epilogue. I think Modern Times is quickly becoming uh, the one to beat in terms of like albums so far. Um, Modern Times epilogue, I'm kind of going to lump in to Modern Times 
as it feels like it's a part of the whole. It's sticking kind of in theme with the other songs that came before it in modern times, and it's got that same jazz swing vibe. Um, and it just feels so different than anything else that I've heard in K-pop on a like a this scale. Because <clears throat> we've heard other jazz tracks, right, on the channel from other groups, and I always love them when they come out, but I've yet to see anyone but IU do a full jazz album. Um, and that's really good. Uh, yeah, but that's going to do it for us for today, guys. So until next time, love you. Bye.